All right, guys, ladies and gentlemen, in this video here today, we're going to be talking about five secrets pro wedding filmmakers don't want you to know. Five secrets that wedding filmmakers that are professionals keep to themselves. These secrets are so professional and so secret that, you know, they keep to themselves. And I had to come to a secluded location. I had to come to an undisclosed location to give you these secrets. So for that reason, give me a like on this video, guys. Give me a like on this video because I'm risking my life giving you these secrets. So let's go. One, pros don't obsess over camera bodies. They obsess over camera lenses. Okay, guys, wedding professionals, pros, the secret. Number one, they don't obsess over camera bodies, guys. They obsess over camera lenses. That's why they would rather have a badass lens on a shitty body. You know, badass lens, like a freaking $3,000 lens on a shitty body. But, I mean, they, they have an okay body. but what pros do is they don't, you know, upgrade their bodies every year because, I mean, uh, camera manufacturers come up with, you know, bodies every year. Oh, this year we have this body. Next year we have this body. But pros don't worry about that. As long as the body is good, they invest in good lenses. Pros invest in good lenses. So that's a secret number one that a lot of people don't know. A lot of people think like, oh, we're just going to keep, you know, updating our bodies, updating our bodies. But you know what? Pros update their lenses. Pros obsess over lenses. They don't obsess over camera bodies. So you guys, as, as you know, regular people, amateurs, uh, intermediate people, you need to know this fact that pros don't obsess over camera bodies. As long as they got a good body, they're good to go. They always, they always, always invest in good glass, guys. Good glass. What the fuck is dragonflies and everything. I'm in an undisclosed location out here and I can't tell you where I'm at. You know, I'm risking my life for this shit. So number two is, you know, details. Pros obsess over details. They don't obsess on mediocre shots. Pros go for the details in, in uh, footage. They go in detail, like they, they capture the details. They capture stuff that the bride is like, damn, I didn't even see that. I didn't even know that was there. Damn, what, what a detail. You know, the pros obsess on details they pay attention to details guys so you guys need to pay attention to the small details because pros do that they obsess over those little details that everybody else just takes for granted so guys pay attention to details guys pay attention to details because pros pay attention to details so y'all need to pay attention to details not just regular mediocre shots pay attention to the details guys because pros that's a secret guys they obsess on details. Number three, guys, I gotta hurry up because you know what I mean? I, I don't know who's following me out here. One of these pros can be, you know, can have a sniper somewhere and take me out right now. So number three is improvisation is the name of the game. Professionals know that improvisation is the name of the game. They don't care where they're at. They don't care about the location. Pros improvise, guys. That's a secret, guys. Pros always improvise no matter what location they're at no matter what situation they're given pros always improvise so guys that's a secret that pros keep to themselves pros are good at improvisation it doesn't matter what situation you throw them in they improvise they bring the beauty out of any location out of any situation so make sure you pay attention to improvisation. Don't be like, oh, this is a freaking stupid ass location. I'm in a trailer park situation. I'm in a Super 8. I'm shooting in a Ramada. Like pros don't give a shit. They bring beauty out of those shots. They bring beauty out of those locations. So no matter what location you set a pro into, pros will bring the beauty out of that location. So guys, master your improvisation. Be good at improvising be good at being creative, guys. It doesn't matter where you at. It doesn't matter if you are in the desert, guys. Make sure you improvise and make something out of nothing. Okay, guys? Number four. We're moving fast here. Number four, guys. You know, second to last. Number four. Equipment. Equipment is not everything. Creativity is what really matters. You know what I mean? Pros understand that. That your equipment is not everything, guys. 
you can give a pro a shitty ass, you know, um, Canon T3i or just a Canon T3 and they'll make something out of that T3. So don't worry about, oh, I'm going to get a red camera. Steven Spielberg can have an, uh, a, a Sony A7S II and still shoot a badass movie out of that A7S II. And the rest of you guys will be like, oh, no, I need a red camera. I need a red epic. I need a black magic, blah, blah, blah. I need some 6K, 8K to do what Steven Spielberg does. Guys, all these guys, Michael Bay, they'll freaking run, run laps around your ass with a freaking red epic. And they only got a freaking, let's say, they have a Canon uh, 5D Mark IV or 5D Mark III. They'll run wraps around you when it comes to creativity. So equipment, it really doesn't matter, guys. As long as you got good enough equipment, you need to make something out of that equipment. So pros know that. It's not about the equipment, guys. It's about creativity. It's about what you can do with that equipment that really, 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 really matters. So guys, tip number four was equipment is not everything. So that's a secret that pros keep to themselves. So they let everybody else obsess over equipment and all, and all that shit, and they don't even care because they know that their creativity will do the talking for them. Guys, number five, the last secret is, I kept the best for last because this is important, guys. Positioning. Pros don't care about, like, you know, uh, let me say, positioning. They separate themselves from the crowd. They do that by marketing their work in a completely different way. Okay, guys, pros position themselves different from the crowd. They position themselves different from everybody else, guys, because like uh, they make clients believe they are in a completely different category when it comes to filming, guys. They don't they don't uh, make clients think, oh, it's about the features and the benefits and this and that. Pros know that the way you position yourself as a wedding filmmaker speaks volumes, guys, the way you position yourself. So, for example, like. They don't focus on features and benefits when they're selling their work. When they're selling their services, they don't focus on features and benefits, guys. These guys focus on emotions, guys. That's what they focus on, okay? They focus on emotions. They talk about the value that they will bring to the table to the clients. You know what I mean? Uh, because, like, I mean, what do they mean? Like, what value do they talk about? They talk about, you know, the value that they will bring to the table, they don't talk about, oh, I will bring a drone. I will, my features are drawn and uh, I got gimbals, you know, I got this and I'll make your wedding film look good, blah, blah, blah. They don't focus on that. They, fo they position themselves in a completely different way because like um, they don't, uh, when, they, when, when they like, um, when they pros, when they pros refer to their products, they don't refer to their products as a wedding video. They refer to their product as a lifetime memory. You see the difference there? A regular wedding filmmaker will be like, oh, yeah, I can shoot, you know, I'll come and I'll make your video look good. Pros come and say, I'll come and I'll create memories for you. I'll create memories that you will remember for a lifetime. I'm not there to capture uh, anything. I'm not there to capture the event. I'm there to capture your memories. Okay, see the difference there? Because when you say memories, uh, bride and groom would be like, oh, yeah, like, you know, it's a different way of looking at this shit. Not like, oh, I'll come and I'll, you know, film your video and this. No, they refer, they don't refer to it as a wedding film. They refer to it as creating memories. So always like, no, when you're talking to the bride and groom, don't tell them you're going to, you know, create a beautiful wedding highlight for them. Tell them you're going to create beautiful memories. You're going to capture their memories. You're going to capture memories that they will remember for a lifetime because a wedding is a memory that, you know, it only happens once in a lifetime unless they get remarried. But this is something that happens once in a lifetime. So pros know how to position themselves as somebody who's going to come in and create and capture their most memorable moments, guys. They'll come and they'll capture their memories. So always position yourself differently from everybody else so pros understand that secret it's not about you know what you film with or what you do or whatever benefits and features that you're offering no guys you are creating memories so the wedding business is not a business of it's not a film business guys you are not in the business of film you are not filming guys you are in the business of creating memories guys you are there to create memories you are there to capture their memories, memories that they'll cherish forever. So when you go there 
you know, put yourself in that position whereby I'm here to capture your memories. I'm not here to capture a wedding film. I'm not here to film for you guys. I'm here to capture memories that you will treasure forever, guys. And so those are the five secrets that pro wedding filmmakers keep to themselves. It's getting kind of dark here. And, you know, I don't want uh, alligators or monkeys or or some type of uh, abominable snowman or Bigfoot to come and find me because I don't know where I'm at and I didn't even tell my wife where I'm going. So I might just disappear, you know what I mean? So guys, before I die, let me go back to the studio. So um, I'll catch you guys in the next video, but be sure to like this video if you got some insights. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet because I don't know what you're waiting for because I'm one of those people on this platform called YouTube who's uh, coming through and uh, providing and adding to the community, guys, adding some value to the community of wedding filmmakers. So guys, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much. I got to get the fuck out of here. Damn, Daniel.